Ursula Carlson, Pax Asadi, Paul Ego, Melanie Bracewell, and Vaughn Smith. As we look back on the week of us, have you been paying attention? And now, here's your host, Hayley Sproul. Welcome to the very first episode of Have You Been Paying Attention for 2022? This is, of course, the quiz show where we look back at all of the week's news. The winner will get our coveted trophy and the losers will get... The narrow and closing window to secure a livable future on planet Earth. Don't want to lose. We don't want to lose tonight. We are, of course, doing an Omicron-safe show with Perspex screens and a COVID-sized audience. Make some noise! Not too bad. That'll do, that'll do. Tonight we'll be joined by our guest quiz masters from Travel Guides Australia, Victoria and John O'Friend, and later by legendary white fern Katie Martin. But tuatahi nei, let's meet our contestants. She's South Africa's funniest export, Ursula Carlson. <laughs> from frickin' dangerous bro, it's Pax Asadi. <laughs> you know him as the voice of Meat Week, Paul Ego. <laughs> Award winner <laughs> Melody Bracewell. Yay! And he's been self isolating since before it was called Vaughn Smith. <laughs> Mo, my hooky, my everyone, lovely to see you all. Vaughn, we can't get enough of each other at the moment, can we? We see each other a lot. A lot, of course. Uh, we are on radio together every morning, and we've even got like a sort of sisterhood of the travelling pants situation going on, sharing clothes. Check this out. Wow. There's you, mm. and here's me. Who wore it best? I really blew the bust out. As you can <laughs> yeah, see your there. boots are really popping. Thanks. You can cleavage. Thanks. You also kind of look like a mannequin. Worn, like you're doing the whole pose and everything. Yeah. <laughs> a bro broken mannequin. Quite like sad, Vaughn. Yeah. yeah. Are you all right? I uh, couldn't have been happier that day, actually. You certainly don't look like siblings whose parents were cousins. That's... Yeah, no, no, we don't. Paul Ego, Hi. lovely to have you on the show. It would be. <laughs> <laughs> and you are here. Uh, you enjoyed a lovely trip to the supermarket with your mother recently. Yes, my mum, Marge, is 87. She watches the show. Hi, mum. Lovely to see you. Hi, and uh, I take her shopping every week. And uh, we went to the fruit and produce department this week of a particular supermarket. Not my one, the other one. Oh, really? And um, <laughs> there was a sign up saying, because all the supermarkets are running short on stuff at the moment. Of course. So there was quite an amusing sign that they'd written and put up in the fruit and veg section. And Have they a look at this. Laugh. Dear customers, due to the trunk breakdown, obviously the uh, mainly fruit and veg being delivered by elephant at the moment, <laughs> uh, we're not getting our stock on time. Sorry for the incontinence. <laughs> <laughs> They'd obviously cleaned it up by the time we got there. I didn't think yeah. it was... <laughs> well, at least they apologise. Yeah. It does give you the shits when they've run out of stuff. It does, not uh, Yeah, it absolutely. does. Nice effort, though. Uh -huh. Ursula, lovely to see you, my friend. Yes, yeah, good to be here. Now, <laughs> uh, now, you have started a new hobby. I have. I found it, it releases stress. Mm. Um, so I started painting, Hayley. Oh, and wow. I'm a creative Beautiful. person. You I'm are very creative. creative. Well, let's yeah. see your first exhibition yeah. in your own home. Here there they are. There you go. Yes. Now edges you'll are, see, I did rushed. sign it. I did have to put the UC on it. Yeah, OK. That was added after. I don't know when other artists do theirs, but I had to do that um, about a week after putting it... Because everyone that walks into a home congratulates my five-year-old son with yeah, his yeah. <laughs> So I felt the need to go, that little bastard isn't getting any credit for my work, so yeah. I put the UC on so they know. It's almost like you put up a reminder to yourself of what to put on the table. <laughs> Salt and pepper, knife and fork, yeah. cup, lots of wine. Yeah. Well, remember doing? to drink it out of a glass this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team. Well, you remember how to play. I ask the questions, you give the answers. Let's dive into it. Hands on buzzers, please. These politicians were in agreement for once. This is a man that's completely unhinged, you know, clearly unhinged. Who are they talking about? Pax. Each other, Hayley. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Mel. Lily from Big Safe Furniture's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Not who no, they're talking about in our parliament. Okay. Vaughan. The new um, Marvel hero, Broken Gate Man. It's not broken gate. He's unhinged. Man. No, no, he is. And he's get, un get out, Vaughan. He's unhinged, Vaughan. he's unlashed, <laughs> and he's ready to swing. Okay. Broken gate man. <laughs> Did you think that? Yes, and you... think that was a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> All gates had ninjas. <laughs> you, you buzzed in. What's um, your answer? It's, it has to be Putin. It is Vladimir mm. Putin, indeed. Ten points to you. On Tuesday, Labour Minister David Parker became the first Cabinet member to do what? 
fawn. Um, throw poos back at the person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poo. <Just poo. laughs> Mel, is it um, get the wordle in two? No, he didn't get the wordle in two. I'm sure he would have shared it. Pax? Did he get the vid? He got the, the vid. vid. He tested positive for COVID-19 and we asked his colleagues how he's coping with it. This is a man that's completely unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast had a difficult interview with this bakery owner. Yeah, I mean, um, I guess we just wanted to to still be able to share the experience with our customers and, and, and our friends and stuff like that, and, and, and hopefully it doesn't uh, <laughs> affect, affect the day too much. He's about to lose his cronuts. Uh, what were they talking about, Paul? The fact that he's um, built a bakery in a wind tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite what they or were Or she's in about. a 1980s music video. <laughs> Uh, Mel. No, his whole business was based on the weed referendum passing. <laughs> <laughs> not good. It would be helpful, but uh, not why they're chatting there. Paul? No, didn't he open it on the same day that the police went in? and They did indeed. Up, his so. bakery opened mm. on Wednesday, the mm. day of the police crackdown on protesters. Of course, the bakery had to close and they were very sorry for the incontinence. <laughs> <laughs> this is troubling news. Friends of mine who work in high school say it is a major problem. What is the major problem, Paul? Uh, is it that the teachers are so used to doing lessons via Zoom, they're turning up at school with just a blazer and no pants? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the concern. Uh, Pax? Hayley, it's vaping. It is. There's been an increase in daily vaping in students from 8.1% in 2019 to 9.6%. Whoa. In 2021. All right, guys, beaming in from the beehive, we have a special guest question now from Green MP and Minister for Climate Change, James Shaw. Hello, James. Hi, Hayley. Hey, look, we all know that climate change is urgent, but my question is, who released a report this week that reads more like a Hollywood disaster movie but is actually real life? Who released it? Paul. Are we sure he's from the Beehive? Because that sounded pretty quiet outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he must have found a quiet yeah, little, little space cupboard there. or something. <laughs> Shh, can you guys stop writing? I've got to send a video to have you been paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Great show. You should watch it Fridays. Uh, Mel? Uh, I don't... It's like some big climate thing. It's called the IP... YMCA, PVA, glue, uh, <laughs> report or something like that. James, what do you reckon? Is she close enough? The answer, of course, is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC. That's who she I meant? I got all those yeah. letters. There you go. They were all in there. I'm going to give you 10 points for that. Well done. And thank you, James. There have been scenes like this across the country. People in the Capitol and in Christchurch today waited in long, snaking queues, some up to three hours. What were they queuing for, Vaughan? They were going to see Ursula's art exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. Uh, they wanted to get one of those tests you can do on rats. <laughs> the rat tests they're rats. talking about. Rats, I'll give you It's rats. Yeah. Rapid antigen tests now available across the country. Ryan Bridge was complimentary to our Trade Minister. I want to congratulate you because this is an incredible deal for New Zealand. What is the deal, Mel? Um, he, he got that bit of art in the background from Ursula. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not quite uh, the deal he's talking about there, Ursula. No, this is the free trade thing we've got with the UK now. Indeed, yeah, the new free trade agreement between Aotearoa and the UK. All right, team, now beaming in from Wanaka, please meet Veronica Kreitner. Hi, Hayley. My question is, I'm the first woman to win what? First woman to win what? Mel? I think Veronica from Monica is just the most fun to say now. It really is. Uh, I need a bit more info for some points. Paul, what did she win? Did she win Bird of the Year? <laughs> Bird of the Year? Well, they Something... gave it to a bat. So... Oh, I know. Anyone can win it now. Something of the Year, Vaughan? A young Plumber of the Year. Well, wow. let's go back to Veronica from Monica and find out. Veronica? Plumbing World's Young Plumber of the Year. There you go. Well done, Veronica. That's awesome. Is it true she won a harmonica? I don't know that Veronica from Wanaka won a harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> All right, heading overseas, and here's a scary image from Australia. What is going on there? Ursula? The ice cream machine's broken. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the problem, Mel. I believe this is the flooding in Brisbane. Yeah, indeed. Intense flooding on Australia's east coast there. Yeah. Isn't that... That is for sharks and crocodiles who can finally get a McFlurry. They though. can, a little swim through. <laughs> mm. The Queen made headlines on Wednesday after she did what? Paul. 
Well. Continued to not die. Shit, well. Indeed. I need a little bit more specifics, Pax. Mm, I think she joined the Crips. <laughs> she did not join the Crips, Vaughan. She won Old Plumber of the Year. She did. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula. Oh, this is working nine to five. She recovered from COVID. Indeed, she is. She has uh, returned to her public duties. She hosted two virtual audiences after recovering from COVID-19, but not the only queen who is back on the screen this week. That's our queen. Oh, yeah. Have it, Now, it is time for a break, but we'll be right back with Showbiz Aquaki Day. <laughs> So in this round, we start with two lovely green balls. Big ones. It does have a good feel. I thought it was beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. But I do have something else up my sleeve. Two lizards. Get off of me. It may have been a tough week, but... I'm going to hit that. Cheeky girl. It's not soup. It is good. It's good times. But many of them have emptied my toilet bag. You deal with it. Like, it's not going to bite you or anything. Have you been paying attention? Pax Asadi, lovely to have you on the show. Oh, it's lovely to be here, Hayley. Speaking of shows, you've got your own show at the moment, Raised by Refugees. I do have my own show, which is crazy to say. Tell us a bit about it. Uh, it's a show that's set in 2001 Auckland that revolves around a 12-year-old version of me. Here he is, and you playing your own dad as well. I play my well. own father. Wow. Oh, God, yeah. he's cute, isn't he? He's such a handsome boy that makes me seem like I was a really handsome boy, yeah, too. Yeah, can we see a photo <laughs> Pax actually I'm at the same handsome. age, not nearly as handsome. <laughs> Real thug though, that's, oh, that's, that's me trying good. to be thug. Have you got one tooth? <laughs> <laughs> it's all the ice hockey I play with my Mighty Ducks hat on. Uh, congrats on the show, Pax. It's Thank a beautiful so show, I love it very much. Mel? Great yeah. to have you on the show. You're such a jet setter these days. That's true. I just recently went to, to Blenheim. <laughs> yes, this is lovely. Of we course. did a little um, bike wine tour. Yeah. And we went to a few wineries. And then by the time we got to the end, we were a bit tipsy. And we turned up to this woman's winery. And she just kept talking in innuendos. She was like, my husband's not a grower. He's never been a grower. And we were just like <laughs> trying to hold back our laughter. I was like, so more of a shower then. And she <laughs> did not get it well, at she all. Didn't know she was doing it. She was going, no, she, she just looked at me very genuinely and was like, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, he loves showing off his grapes. I was like, you have to stop. I need to use this platoon right now. Um, oh, absolutely amazing. Time. Well, we're lucky we get to have you before you uh, flip back to Australia, Mel. <laughs> yeah. Absolute delight. But uh, enough from you lot. I want to hear about some actual celebrities. <laughs> this is showbiz. <laughs> All right, hands on buzzers, here we go. Film fans were buzzing about this. He was my destiny. <gasps> what are we watching there, Pax? Uh, Captain Phillips 2. Slightly <laughs> <laughs> different angle this time, Mel. What it feels like to chew five gum. Wow. <laughs> 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 Fucking <laughs> reference. <laughs> five gum. Uh, not a five gum ad. Pax. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna follow what I'm seeing and say it's an Elvis movie. Sure, it's the trailer for Baz Luhrmann's biopic, Elvis. Actor Sam Elliott has been criticised after comments he made about New Zealand film Power of the Dog. What did he say about that film, Paul? He said it was a bit shit. <laughs> Is that your answer? Yes. Yeah. He actually said it was a piece of shit. Wow. Did he? Uh, did he? He, thought, he did. He thought it was more about um, doggy style. So <laughs> you can see why he was disappointed. Yeah. Oh, the doggy style? Well, surely then he would have watched the film from behind. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, you're right. Um, he said basically, like, because he, he loves westerns, and he said, what's Jane Campion doing filming that? down there, what does she know about the American West? Uh, all these illusions of homosexuality throughout the effing movie. He was not a fan at all. Has he well, heard of uh, Brokeback Mountain? Because that is going to blow his <laughs> mind. It is absolutely going to blow. Not just his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Points are yours, Paul. Thank I'll you. I'll give it to you. you Spider-Man <laughs> actor Andrew Garfield was shutting things down. I have no idea. Uh, it's not, not me, so I have no clue. I 
What is he talking about? Not me, Mel. He is an Andrew, but he's not that Andrew. No, 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 no. <laughs> he is a Garfield, but he's not that Garfield. No, no. <laughs> he's quite right here, Vaughan. No, um, there's rumours going around that one of the three people who have played Spider-Man, um, Tom Holland himself and Tobey Maguire, one wore a fake ass in the Spider-Man <laughs> outfit, and he's saying he did not wear the fake ass. Yeah, Tom Holland wow. said that one of the Spider-Mans wears a fake butt. Kiwi pop star Benny released a new EP today. What is it called, Ursula? I know this. It's called... Called lychee. 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 <laughs> lychee. Lychee. Like the little fruit. Is it a lychee? Yeah, it's a lychee. You say lychee and you say lychee. <laughs> Let's call the, the whole, whole thing, thing off. off. Uh, lychee or lychee? I'll give you the points anyway. All right, guys, it's time to welcome our guest quiz masters. They are part of the incredible friend family on Travel Guides Australia. Please welcome Jono and Victoria. <laughs> to have you on the show. I've got to ask, uh, what's it like tra getting to travel the world for telly? Oh, it's amazing. I've been to some, like, countries I've never even heard of. <laughs> very humbling experience as well, so very lucky. Uh, Victoria, I'll ask you, what's the best thing about it? I think the best thing about it is all the shopping that we've done all over the world. <laughs> and Dad's always whinging because he's the one that's got to carry all the bags. Oh, Dad. Oh. <laughs> what about you? You, got, you just got married. Are you going to take the missus on the road with you? Yeah. Um, I would love to, but I don't think she can handle it. <laughs> I, I can just barely handle it. <laughs> and by handle it, do you mean the travel or your family on the road? Uh, it's my family on the road. <laughs> I just wanted to change the subject to that vacuum cleaner behind you. Yeah. Do you rate the Dyson B11? <laughs> yes, I love the Dyson. I can't live without it. Is it, a, is it a V9 or a V10? Oh, my God. <laughs> V8. It's only a V7. Oh, oh how amazing. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Time to upgrade. Time to upgrade. Uh, hey, guys, we're very excited mm. to have you on. Are you ready to ask our contestants our TV questions? Yes, yes. we're ready to go. All right, Victoria, we'll start with you. There's been bad news from the set of The Crown. What happened? What happened on The Crown, Paul? Uh, they can't find any actors to volunteer to play Prince Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they can't. Not the answer we need. Pax. No, actually $300,000 worth of antiques were stolen, but on the bright side, they've now ended up at an Indian natural history museum. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Pax. All right, guys, next question, please. 90210 actress Anna Lynn McCord has gone viral for this video. Dear President Vladimir Putin. What does she have to say to Putin? Mel, no notes. <laughs> <laughs> As you were, sir. Uh, no, it wasn't no notes. Paul? Uh, no, she says, uh, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want, <laughs> but I have a very particular set of acting skills which are of absolutely no use in this situation. No, she did not uh, go that far. Mm. Pax? Like a really weird, uncomfortable poem about where, if she was his mother, what she would say? Yes. Pax, you're on fire. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm, yeah. a, big, I'm a big fan of you guys. <laughs> uh, it was. It was a very cringe-worthy <laughs> poem about if she was his mother. Take a look. I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. If I was your mother, you would have been so loved, held in the arms of joyous light. Never would the story's plight, the world unfurled before our eyes, a pure demise. Oh, it's so, it just goes on about like. Ooh. It's going in my bones. You know when cringe goes in your bones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you it's just want to like retract into a ball. Oh, I know. I'll, Jono, laugh, I'll laugh so hard if her kids turn out to be awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. dickheads. laughs> All right, Victoria, hit us with our last question. All right. Jono had an interesting outfit on in this season of Travel Guide. <laughs> <laughs> Jono, look at the lip. <laughs> Oh, Jono, God, you look sexy. <laughs> Why was he dressed like that? Why not? Am I right? It's Wednesday. Paul. So he could slip into a men's prison undetected? <laughs> <laughs> not the disguise he went for. Ursula. Oh, I know. This is an absolute dream come true. It's like a Priscilla-themed outback experience. Yes. yes. Indeed. Hey, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Such a delight. You can catch Travel Guides Australia Tuesday, 7.30, right here on 2. Please give it up for Jono and Victoria Fred. Thank you.
so let's take a trip around the world. Starting in Tokyo, and here's an odd sight. What is going on there, Ursula? That's an opportunity for people with halitosis to date. <laughs> Finally, they needed a chance. Vaughn? It's um, human pneumatic tubes. When you're finished on the date, you just go... <laughs> 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 I like it's it. Just a like it. Yeah, yeah, I'm done, I'm done here. <laughs> oh, if, you don't like your, if you don't like your date, you're like, this sucks. <laughs> Hi, uh, Pax? Uh, no, that's a fancy hotel in Japan where you can eat in one of those bubble things and have a mask-free experience. Indeed, the Hoshinoya Tokyo Hotel. It's, got, it's called the Lantern Dining Experience. You can take your mask off. McDonald's in China has shocked customers by releasing a new type of sundae. What is it, Pax? Uh, it is the blood of all those who oppose Xi Jinping. <laughs> <laughs> it is not the, what the sundae is. Mel? I believe it is a coriander sundae. Oh, it yum. is indeed. Mm. Yuck, yum. What are we thinking? Yum, big yum. I'm a big yum. I love coriander. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just want Sunday. I just want coriander. Well, boy, do I have a dish you two are going to enjoy together. <laughs> we'll share it, like that, uh, what's those two dogs with a spaghetti? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like in the Suck it on a spot <laughs> on a Sunday? <laughs> coriander. Yeah. Like, we would instantly kiss. There's no time to kiss for the kiss. We would just go Isn't in. that great? Yeah. Uh, you are right, Mel. It is indeed a <laughs> coriander Sunday. Ten points to you. Here's a striking scene from Milan. Well, what are we looking at there, Ursula? It's obviously a woman they can harp on a bit, honey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not quite the answer I need, Mel. A woman you don't want to enter a no-strings-attached relationship with. <laughs> <laughs> Very stringy. Uh, does anyone know the, the, the brand, the label? The designer, uh, Pax. Is it body glove? It's not body glove, <laughs> uh, Ursula. No, high end, Pax. It's cotton on. It's not cotton on. It is Moschino. It's their runway show at Milan Fashion Week. No points, by the way. It's pronounced Mossimo. Is it Mossimo? It's not Mossimo. Moschino. Slightly higher end. Is it? Yes. Oh. Heading to Lake Mimp from Agog in Vermont and meet 76-year-old Ginny Peck. I think I'm a cold person to begin with. I think I've always been comfortable with cold. Um, I love a challenge. What is she about to do, Pax? Uh, clean out the back of her freezer. <laughs> Not quite what she's talking to the news about. Ursula. No, she's cold. She's always been cold. And she loves a challenge. She's about to ruin her daughter-in-law's life. Wow. <laughs> Not where I thought you were going with that, Vaughan. I'm um, judging by that hole cut in the ice behind her uh, and the flags. Is she about to do an ice swim? You're the closest, Vaughn. I'm going to give you 10 points because I'm feeling generous. Uh, she's going to compete in the 50 metre freestyle at the Memphremagog oh. Winter Swim Jesus. Festival, known as the Ice Swimming Olympics. Now, team, bonus points yeah. if you can spell Memphremagog. 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 Pax. M E M. Mem. Good start. P H R E. Memphremagog. Memphremagog. M I G O G. Oh my God, it's M A G O G. We had all of them. Oh, no! You genuinely oh had God. all of them, Pax. What was what? that? What was what that? An what an idiot. That's wrong? a different place. <laughs> you spell Memphremagog. Yeah. Memphremagog. Oh! It's an A. Well done, though, but I can't pay the Can points. Can I get half eight. points? No, I can't do that. I'm sorry, you get no points. <laughs> this guy looks like he's having fun in Switzerland. What is happening there? Mel. He's really testing his antihistamines. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're working. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I look like with clothes on when I don't shave my chest. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is terrifying. Cool. <laughs> no, this guy's name is uh, Neville, and um, the local townspeople could never find him uh, because they said it was like trying to look for a Neville in the <laughs> <hospital>. <laughs> 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 Paul, even you stopped, as you said. <laughs> I pulled out of my own you joke. Did. <laughs> uh, look, this was a bit of a tough one. That is a man in a straw-stuffed costume for the Impe à Peluche. Oh. Of course, the Impe à Peluche. Impe this story out of California has got a lot of attention. Meet public enemy number one in California's Lake Tahoe, Hank the Tank, a 500-pound black bear. Why? Is Hank the Tank in the news? You know, what's, you know what's really sad, Haley? If this was a white bear, this wouldn't even be in the news. <laughs> I know, I know. A polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, so you're making a pole of beer? I think no. it would be in the news if it was a pole of no, beer. Not, no, not a beer from pole. It's not a racial uh, reason that Hank the Tank is in the news, Paul. Did he steal some picnic baskets, boo? <laughs> yeah, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Uh, Ursula? No, they thought he was robbing houses, but he wasn't really. He was just taking the bare necessities. <laughs> 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 Ursula, I feel like giving you 20 points for that one. Yes, he was actually about to be euthanised for it after uh, two dozen house break-ins, but then they did DNA evidence testing and they revealed uh, that the break-ins were the work of several bears. And he was acquitted. Mm. An Italian cathedral has removed this religious painting that was recently gifted after what was discovered. <laughs> Mel. They just heard about Ursula's paintings and they're replacing it. Yeah, wow. Well, no, not why they're getting rid of it. Vaughn? The guys that had it commissioned had themselves painted into it. They had. <laughs> oh, my God. So a local priest and the businessman who commissioned the painting <laughs> were in the painting. <laughs> they put it in there wearing a blue mask. <laughs> I know. Why is he doing, like, a sexy hide behind the crossbows? I just think it's really tacky when artists put themselves in their own things, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Team, it is time now for an individual challenge. Now, we've been off the air for some big events, so let's try and see if you can identify the news we missed in a game we call... <laughs> emoji News. All right, contestants, I'm going to show you a series of emojis, mm -hmm. and it's your job to tell me which news stories from over the summer break they belong to, and we're going to start with you, Vaughn Smith. Hello. Mm. All right, Vaughn, here are your emojis. That's sort of a oh. babushka doll situation there, a uh, game thing, a sheep, and some sort of heavy lifting device. A crane. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I see why you didn't say crane. Russian doll. That, you just got as a video game thing, is a space invader. So Russia invades. A female sheep is a you. You're very clever, but you're not clever enough to beat this guy. So Russia invades Ukraine. That is correct, Vaughn. Of course, Russia has invaded Ukraine. Not nice news. We'll move on. Ursula, yes? it's your turn now, my friend. There she is. Ursula, let's take a look at your emojis. We have there a bald guy and a hat. Yeah, Vaughn's back. <laughs> <laughs> Vaughn does love a cap. Well, it's just going into autumn and he's switching out a cap for a beanie suit. So. Yeah, there you go. All I can think of is Vaughn... Got a new hat. ..being sun smart. <laughs> he's being sun smart. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry that is incorrect. It is, of course, Christopher Luxon is the new national leader. The blue uh, hat. Oh, my God. Honestly, next time, put a little plane or an airport lounge or yeah, something. Yeah, I know. It would have been too easy. There's Vaughan. no airport lounge There's emoji. There's no hat that'll fit that head. <laughs> yeah. That's there what is I'm a... saying. <laughs> All right, Pax, let's take a look at these emojis. OK. All right. Now, I will say, in the writer's room, uh, we went, that's too hard. And then we went, ah, I'll give it a pax. Let's <laughs> <laughs> have a little bit of fun. So, dancing lady, zany face, no winner. Some cr some kooky lady died. What about the lady? Lady Gaga. <laughs> Wins no Oscar. <laughs> oh, pax, you got it! What? <laughs> <laughs> Gaga did Gaga. not receive an Oscar nomination for her role as Patrizia Reggiani in House of, Ju of Gucci. I pulled that out of my <laughs> asshole. <laughs> and for that, I give you ten points, good sir. Well done. All right, Mel. Your turn now, Mel. Here are your emojis. We have given you a ball, some sort of arrow in a direction, a goal, a mind-blowing emoji, and some tears. Well, I've played a lot of social netball, so as the athlete of the panel, I know this story. Um, so there's a ball going the wrong way, uh, and it was a New Zealand player, right? And she scored three own goals, and for some reason they kept her on for too long. Yeah, uh, you've got it. Yeah. You've got it. Football fern Michaela Moore scored a hat-trick of her of own oh. goals. Mm. Kept accidentally getting it right into her own goal. <laughs> Mel, 10 points to you. Well done. <laughs> All right, finally, coming to you now, Paul Ego. Mm. Uh, here are your emojis. Some sort of rodent, a test tube, 
and some sort of transport device there. They have not been on for a while. Sort of transport device. Okay, so the crazy looking aerial transport. The transport device. I know you're calling it that because you don't want to call it a crane. <laughs> Now, I definitely don't pay attention, and I certainly don't watch the news, but I do know from having a cat who is an avid hunter that that first thing is a rat, and that looks like a test tube. I reckon that's rat tests, and that's a plane landing. Is it that rat tests have arrived in New Zealand? Now it we've is. got heaps of them. Paul Ego, 10 points to you. Well done, sir. Thank you. Well done to you all, guys. It's time for a break, but we'll be right back with sport. Aqua Kino. <laughs> Get set for cheaper British cars, gin. Wicked wings. Beef casserole. A mouth-watering. Equestrian rider. Definitely keen to see more of that tomorrow. And Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison has confirmed he's... It's become very, very, very ugly. On Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And they want it to stop. Oh, shit, I'm back. Can't do that again. Buckle in for a bumpy couple of weeks. Attention, it's time to welcome our next guest quizmaster, a legend of Aotearoa cricket. Please welcome Katie Martin. Yeah. Katie, thanks for joining us. Hi guys. A pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, now, of course, the Women's Cricket World Cup starts this weekend. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. A bit old, actually. I've had four weeks of playing against India, so uh, wouldn't mind a couple of days off. But we're in Tauranga at the moment by the beach, so I can't complain. Yeah. But we're looking forward to it. Well, I mean, you say you're feeling old, so take us back to the very start, the very, very beginning. What drew you into cricket? Uh, just normal Kiwi. I played backyard cricket with the neighbours. Um, my first tour to India was dial-up internet. I was actually asking the girls this morning if dial-up internet existed when they played, and they said no. So, you know, I'm definitely feeling quite old against some of the youngsters. Well, you made your international debut back in 2003. Uh, you're still going today. What would have been some of your highlights? Always beating Australia, obviously that's a highlight. Uh, my first tour to India, we actually um, had a, cr a cricket bus that was shaped as a cricket ball. So it was a bus <laughs> shaped as a cricket ball. So that was quite impressive. Katie, did you have to like rub the bus on the inside of your shorts to make it, <laughs> make it go left? <laughs> 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 like, I know, I know quite a lot about cricket. And if you needed to get under a bridge, you just got the Australians to sand off the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm 100% South African. Have you been there? You have actually, Cape Town. We spent a bit of time there. Um, and the place is it Kimberley that's got that massive hole in the middle? Yeah, yeah. My ex is actually from, from there. Me. A lot of them have that massive hole. <laughs> <laughs> is her name Kimberly? <laughs> it is, weirdly. <laughs> Katie, Kimberly. Katie, I'm from Hamilton. Have you ever been there? <coughs> no comment. No God, comment guys, wait, stay wait. for us. Safest word of play. Pax? Also, I'm half Iranian. Have you been there? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're not... Katie, you don't have to answer this. Week. I'm Hayley, sure you've been I'm a lot half, of places. Hayley, I'm half pissed. Have you been there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vaughn, you have a bad. question? You're a, a wicketkeeper. Is sledging still part of the game? Like, you're right, you know, in the, in, with an earshot of a, of a, a batter. What, what are some sledging you'll give them oh, to put yeah. them off what's, their game? What's some stuff you say? Ooh. Yeah, well, sort of like I've seen better batter at a fish and chip shop or... Oh! That's awesome. So amazing to have you on the show. Are you ready to ask our sports questions? Yeah, let's get underway. All right, team. Well, get the nappy sand out and wash the cricket whites. It's time for sports. <laughs> Miss Katie, take it away. Right, I'm going to start with a legend. Dame Valerie Adams was a bit emotional this week. Today I'm here to share with you all that I'm officially... <laughs> What's she officially? She's officially what, Mel? Is she officially unable to read her own handwriting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not by the long pause, Paul. Okay. Is she finally going to go over to the neighbour's 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 neighbour and ask for her ball back? <laughs> <laughs> not quite what she's doing, Vaughan. She's retiring. What do you reckon, Katie? Yeah, well, let's have a quick look. Hanging up these size 14 throwing shoes. Oh, oh Dame Val! 
well. Yes, she is retiring. Pretty in impressive sporting career. I must say, she actually sledged me at the gym once because I was no talking way. too much. So uh, <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Val. Um, <laughs> wow, there you go. All right, Katie, next question. Right. Well, this is a pretty cool place, New Plymouth. Uh, this 14-year-old photo from Central School in New Plymouth has made sporting headlines. Why is that? Paul? Did it make sporting headlines because it's just been a really slow week for sporting <laughs> headlines? <laughs> no, they're not just putting some fun regional headlines in the sports <laughs> section these days. Pax? Did, did, like, more than one of them become professional players? Play for the Phoenix? Did more than one of them play for the Phoenix? You are right. Yeah, two of them. Oscar Van Hatton and Mackenzie Barry, both playing for the Wellington Phoenix. Uh, all right, Katie, next question. Meet 16-year-old Ramesh Babua Pragnandana. That's him right there. Why has he been making headlines? Why is he in the news, Paul? His name is worth 4,000 points in Scrabble. <laughs> It would be worth a lot, a very long name. Uh, not why he's in the news, this is very cool, Vaughan. This is the kid that um, bit me at Fortnite last weekend and then said a whole bunch of derogatory shit about my mum. <laughs> no, that was me. That, oh, that was you. I don't that know was, if Ramesh Babu did that. That was a different that. ethnic kid. <laughs> uh, Mel. He beat the world number one chess guy at chess. That is right, and his name wasn't as long as his. Yeah, youngest player to beat the world number one at the Air Things Masters. Crazy, 16 years old. Great great work on the pronunciation as well, Katie. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Mm. Right, you guys have impressed me, actually, so I'll try and make this a little harder. Paul Cole has become the first Kiwi man ever to do what? Pax. First Kiwi man to not go to a 660 concert. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Never heard of it in my lifetime. Mel. First Kiwi man to not uh, ask for something and then say, oh, all G, if not, <laughs> uh, not why he's made the sports news more. Uh, seeing as that's a picture of him playing squash, I'm guessing it's to do with him playing squash. And has he become like the best squash player in the entire world? You got it. He's reached number one. Yes. Mm, world squash. number one. I actually do believe our very own Vaughan has challenged him. Well, he hasn't played me yet, so how does he know he's the world's number one? <laughs> wow. It's a bit of a Schrodinger's squash situation going on. Yeah, right. If what? we haven't played, I haven't lost. Yeah, but if that kid can smash you at Fortnite, he can definitely win. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, hey, Katie, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck for this weekend. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. And Ursula, we've got no South Africans in the team, so you're more than welcome because the Black Cats have got enough. Right. Yeah. You just give my niece a ring. She plays with Taranaki. She'll come and join you guys. There you go. <laughs> Katie, thank you so we'll much. Win. We're going to take a break, but when we come back, a winner will be crowned. <laughs> the end of the show and do not forget guys this is the trophy you are playing oh sorry that's not oh. the trophy that's that's my trophy for best presenter entertainment <laughs> New Zealand TV awards I got this week you guys get this tin thing yeah who's I bigger get that. oh see that's more a trophy yours yeah. is more a tiny plinth really yeah, yeah. yeah. yours is a paperweight it's right. still better than any marching anything you've ever okay got. well <laughs> just put them both away shall we now that you've spoiled that one Ursula and that is tall poppy syndrome at work and boy oh boy isn't it fun <laughs> it is indeed all right you lot let's bring it on home with a round of rapid recall OK, hands on buzzers, start that clock now. It was revealed this week that Wellington has the highest rate of what in Aotearoa? Ursula? Is it active COVID cases amongst bogans? It is not indeed. Mel? To papas. <laughs> <laughs> True, but I can't give it. It's not on the card. Uh, Vaughan? Uh, it's charred tents and booster shots. Oh, I'll pay you for booster shots. Ten points. A new study has discovered that the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs hit Earth during what packs? The past, Hayley. <laughs> Again, correct. I'm not paying you the points, Ursula. No, during the flattening ceremony, when they were flattening <laughs> out the Earth, when the dinosaurs fell over the soil. Not the answer on the card here. Vaughan, spring, spring. <laughs> Kim Kardashian has just spent over $200 million on what? Mel? Couple of bloody cauliflowers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not wrong. <laughs> Not wrong. Uh, Pax. No, I believe, Hayley, it's a private jet. It is indeed a new private jet. Gulfstream G650ER. Moving along, it's been revealed the Tinder swindler, Simon Laviv, is charging people $29,000 to do what, Paul? Dress as the fish in his Tinder profile picture. <laughs> Not quite, Pax. No, it's actually a pair at nightclub. Yeah, well worth it, sure. Air Asia passengers were 
shocked recently after an incident straight out of a Hollywood film. What happened, Paul? They ran out of the chicken. <laughs> what film are you? What film? What gripping film is about it's, running out of chicken? It's a great film. It was released in 1992. It's called Disappointing Air Meal. Wow. Okay. It features Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. <laughs> and it was one of their lesser films. It wow, okay. Big, I but... must have missed that one. Pax. No, it was a mother effing snake on a mother effing plane. It was a snake. <gasps> it was found on that plane. Look at it. Oh, my God. Disney has recently announced plans for a 618-acre what? Ursula. A suburb so they can build houses so you can live there in this Disney world because some adults are into that. They mm. are. Yes, it is a residential community called Story Living by Disney. Oh, that's what I told my mum her rest home was. Oh, there you go. <laughs> TikTok made a big change to their app this week. What was it? Vaughn? You can have... 10 minute long videos Up now. To 10 Either. minutes in length. Oh, yeah. No one's got the attention sure. span for that no. anymore. <laughs> Dame Helen Mirren has revealed her acting mantra at the SAG Awards this week. What is it, Pax? Never be in a room alone with Harvey Weinstein. That's probably a good one to follow, not the one she talked about, Paul. I like this one because I uh, I agree with this, and it's basically turn up on time and don't be a dick. Yeah, be on time, don't be an asshole. In Australia, influencers have been banned from promoting what? Now, they're not allowed to promote skincare products. Yes, health products of any kind, skincare, vitamins, the works. Oh. Born. Are they still allowed to um, promote misinformation and Nazis? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Breathe okay. easy, breathe easy. Okay, one breathe step easy. at a time. Don't worry, no, yeah. Born. You're fine, Born. Don't yeah. worry. We're starting with acne, we're going to get there. <laughs> Good week for humpback whales. They've just been removed from what list? Born. An endangered list. Australia's threatened species list, I'll give you that. To Canada, where this has turned heads. What are we looking at there? Pax. That is a puppy from Chernobyl. <laughs> Quite tall. Is that the world's most adorable tennis ball? <laughs> oh, don't hit it with a racket. Oh, the sound it would make, though. Not the, oh <laughs> not the info God. I need. Vaughn. It's a rare genetic... It fades, right? But it's a rare genetic thing when some dogs are born green. That is a straight-up green puppy born in Canada named Princess Fiona. It's a rare phenomenon that will fade over time. Now that's the power of the dog. That is. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Fans of Euphoria were disappointed this week when it was announced the third season will be what? Born. Based on my sex life in high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's going to be a short season. What a really yeah. watch, Pax. Uh, I think it's released quite far away, like 2024. 2024, indeed. 10 points to you. Magpies in Australia have been making headlines after they were seen doing what? There you go. That sound brings us to the end of the show. Let's check the final leaderboard. And our winner tonight is... Pax Asada! I can't believe it! Congratulations to our winner and thank you to everyone for playing tonight. We'll leave you with this reminder of the need to pay attention when trying to say the word insurrection. There will be a trial and when that trial ends, senators will have to decide if they believe Donald John, Donald John Trump incited the erection, insurrection. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Next week, Ursula and Vaughan head up against James Rocco, Brindley Steen and Reese Matthewson. We'll see you then. Woo!